You might be asking yourselves, Caterpillar, Caterpillar. They're that heavy equipment manufacturing company. What do they have to do with girls and women? For us, it's about building economies. When you have strong individuals, they develop strong families. Strong families bridge strong communities, and strong communities build great economies. So the way that Caterpillar builds global infrastructure and meet energy needs, our foundation is looking at how do we build human infrastructure. And the way we do that, our mission is to alleviate poverty by putting people on the pathway to prosperity. And the way we do that is by looking at the root cause. And we look at the strongest return on investment, which is girls and women. I mean, I think this crowd knows, South by Southwest, about the power of the girl. An educated girl marries later in life. An educated woman will reinvest back into her family. And she will educate her family as equally as she has been educated. One of my most favorite facts is that a woman entrepreneur pays back her loans at nearly 100%. That is outstanding. And so we think about something being good for business. It's also the right thing to do, but it's also that strong philanthropic return on investment that we look at as a foundation. I took an amazing trip last year to India where we were looking at sanitation projects all throughout India. And we went to an urban slum in Delhi. And this slum was run by a bunch of men, councilmen, uh, government officials. But the issue with sanitation is a lot more cultural. It's not just how do you build more toilets, it's how do you get people to use those toilets. And so there was a women's council that was developed, and these women were able to go influence their communities, be change agents. And I think women have the power to do such different innovative things and think outside of the box because they can influence in a social navigation way. Um, so they were able to turn their community around and this sanitation issue has reduced so significantly and that's due to the power of women. Yes, well I got involved in fashion through my art. I didn't realize that I was very young and when I was around eight I became interested in Well, Girl Up has been awesome, and with all your support from the UN Foundation, but being a campus leader is obviously starting a club on the UT campus, but I think it's also, on a, in a more broader sense, taking the responsibility to kind of start the dialogue on your own campus about women and girls' issues globally. The most rewarding thing about um, starting this club has been just talking to our student body about um, all the issues like education, safety, um, and the leadership of the girls in the developing world. And so I think having that dialogue and really having people start to think about these issues more has been really rewarding. I think I find my power from the powerful women in my life, especially my mother and my grandmother. They were both um, you know, born and raised in India, and I think they both went to college, and especially in my grandmother's time, it was very unconventional for women to go to college and I think her perseverance and determination has really like motivated me to kind of take a deeper look at these kind of issues because I think at least people my age who were born and raised in this country kind of take for granted education and everything that we have and so I think my mother and my grandmother are definitely the power. So Procter & Gamble's Always Brand has been committed to building girls' confidence uh, for the past 30 years. And we found that the, through our puberty education programs, we were really making an impact because when a young girl starts puberty, uh, gets her first period, 
more than half of the girls' confidence plummets, and not all of them regain that confidence. So PNG's been committed to building confidence in these young girls. Another layer of building confidence on the young girls is the fact that the world around her needs to also help. And research showed that words can really affect how a girl will develop, you know, as her body's going through so many changes. That's why the team came up with the campaign, hashtag like a girl. We're asking people to rewrite the rules as to what like a girl means. As you saw in the video, you know, sometimes it's perceived as an insult. So we started a movement and we're asking people to join to help us rewrite the rules as to what like a girl means. It's doing really well. In the first nine months, it had 85 million views. Uh, and then it also was shared 1.5 million times and it's still going. Well, I think most of us know that uh, people like to watch the ads as much as what's going on on the field. And we really wanted to take the, the message that we have to rewrite the rules as to what like a girl means to more of a mainstream audience. And we're better to break through than in such an unexpected place like the Super Bowl viewing. Like a Girl has a new video out now that's called Stronger Together because of the unbelievable response from around the world of young girls and women just wanting to show what they do like a girl. Tons of video came in and the team put together a new iteration. It's called Stronger Together. It was released for International Women's Day. So you should check it out. But I invite you all to join the movement. If you do something fabulous like a girl, you know, tweet it with the hashtag like a girl, send in videos, and help us make like a girl mean amazing things. I, I think it's all about leveling the playing field. I mean, for us, it's about equal opportunity in every instance. So if a girl is spending her time in school and not getting water, she's able to do so much more. And what we have as an internal saying in our foundation is together stronger. When we think about all of the great work that each of these individuals are doing, they're contributing to the overall good, right? And so the only way you can get her stronger is together. And if you break up the words together stronger, it's to get her stronger. So we can only get her stronger together. So business is playing an active role. And we're really excited and proud um, of this opportunity and, and proud of our partnership. more that you can give young girls a voice and show them what's possible and, and help them realize that there's people out there that want to support them, I think they can do amazing things. Helping girls is just for the greater good and just helping the quality of life and it's for the betterment of everyone. I think that it's important to remember that every single person can help make a difference, whether that's through social media or supporting these classes, like every single person. Like, I 100% agree. I think it's about diversity of thought, right? So bringing your best and brightest ideas, and they come from very unexpected places. So in order to have a great dialogue with differentiating ideas, you need to bring everyone to the table, even if you think folks don't even get what you're talking about, is pulling together groups of people that don't necessarily meld, because that's where you get the best and the brightest ideas. I think with all of our various backgrounds that you all can see that investing in girls is very important and it's for the betterment of everyone. If you have ideas uh, for like a girl, you should tweet hashtag like a girl, tell us what you do like a girl, send in a photo, tell us where the campaign should go. I think um, that would be, that would help inspire and I think would inspire others.